classes, okay? And I want it to be the case that anytime I define something in terms of freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors, that the answer should not depend on the representative chosen, right? Okay, so for instance, I might, I might ask something about college students. I might ask, uh, how many classes have you taken? Right, there's a question I could ask of uh, a college student. And the answer might depend on whether you're, which class you're in, but it shouldn't depend on which person you pick in the class. And of course, that, that, that particular question is not well defined, is it, for the equivalence classes of college students? Because a freshman might take eight courses or 10 courses, <laughs> depending on what, you know, w wow insane you are, exactly, okay. Okay, um, what is a question whose answer is well defined for the classes of students, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior? What's an example of a question whose answer is well defined? Well, Jenny? What year will you graduate? What year will you graduate? <laughs> there, seems to <laughs> there seems to be some, uh, some concern about that. But for the most part, what year you're predicted to graduate has a well-defined answer. Are you with me? Okay, we want the same thing for our definition of, uh, of uh, rational addition, addition of rationals. Okay, well, so that's a bad definition. It's not equivalent, and what uh, the message here is that the um, addition is not well-defined. This particular addition is not well-defined. So just to be very explicit, I'll say what we want. We want a notion of addition that does not depend on the representatives chosen. Does not depend on the representatives of uh, chosen. Okay, and uh, this is uh, what we say uh, when we mean, this is what we mean when we say well-defined. Addition of classes is well-defined. We want addition of the classes to be well-defined, okay? Okay, so, Let's suggest another notion. How about this one? Here's another dif different notion of addition. We might look at, uh, how about this? Let's let a, a over B plus C over D. I'll define that to be uh, 0 over 1. There's a definition. Is it well defined? How would you check? You're, you're smiling at me, you're smirking at me, because uh, this is not the notion of addition you're used to. But I just want to know, is this notion of addition well-defined? I'm adding any pair of fractions, and I always give back the same class. So does the answer depend on the representatives chosen? No, in fact, the answer doesn't even depend on what, what classes you pick. Right, which is even a, a, another issue, okay? It's well-defined, so this is well-defined. You can check, I'll let you check this. It is well-defined. But uh, it has a problem, and that is, it's meaningless, it's kind of a boring definition, but boring, it's uninteresting, it would be not uh, doing us very much good if this definition didn't have some meaning to us, okay? Okay, so let's, uh, let's define addition uh, in a meaningful way. So here's the good definition. And this is the one we'll use throughout the rest of this course. A over B plus C over D equals, everybody should know this, good, AD plus BC over BD. 
Okay, so this is a notion. And by the way, remember, uh, in mathematical communication, more so on your writing of mathematics than on the board work here, but I will try to do it in the board work, uh, everything should be expressed in a complete sentence or a thought, right? So this is uh, this plus this equals this, right? Equals is the verb, and, there and I'm finishing the thought here with a period, okay? Notice I've tried to do that here and here as well. Okay. Okay, very good. So this is a definition. What would I have to do, and you're going to do this on your homework, what would I have to do to show this is well-defined? To show that it's well-defined, I want uh, to do what? I must show what? Okay, good. So two members from the same equivalence class will give you the same answer. There are lots of, of course, uh, uh, several classes we're talking about, so I might change the, cla uh, the, the representative here. I might change the representative here as well. And I want to know, is the answer going to be in the same equivalence class when I do that? So how do I say that mathematically? So mathematically, we will... Uh, Here's what you want to verify on your um, homework. So to show that it's well-defined, I must show the following. If AB is equivalent to uh, A prime, B prime, and what? CD is equivalent to C prime, D prime, then What? <laughs> yeah, that's right. AD plus BC comma BD is equivalent to A prime, D prime plus B prime, C prime, B prime comma B prime, D prime, period. This is continuing this sentence. I must show this. So this is our goal, OK? So in your homework, you want to uh, start off with these uh, statements. And, of course, then that will yield a certain relation, right? You take the cross, do cross, multi uh, cross multiply and get a certain uh, uh, property of uh, that A, B, A prime, B prime must satisfy. Similarly for here, and you want to work through the, the consequences to show that these are, in fact, equivalent. Okay? So that's one of your homework assignments. It's, uh, it's tedious, but uh, it's, it's good to do such an exercise at least once in your life, okay? So you know what, what, what foundations you, you rest on. Okay, that's addition. What about um, multiplication? Well, by now, of course, you know that we're trying to create uh, arithmetic with some meaning, and you've already learned some of the meaning of multiplication. So it makes sense to do this the way you learned in grade school. So if I want to multiply two fractions, I'll define this to be what? AC over BD, the class of, right? Okay, and again, I want you to check that this is well-defined. Also on your homework. Again, that means you're going to have to convert this statement into a statement about pairs. Okay, ordered pairs. Okay, good. We have an arithmetic, and it's good news that, that it does, in fact, uh, the addition and multiplication are well defined, and there's a reason for that. It's because it has a physical meaning, right? The one you grew up learning. Okay? But now we've defined rationals in terms of integers, just integers.